Uh, I was never really turned up to high school, so I left high school with no qualifications. I started anew when I got to New College. Um, I gained many qualifications while at New College. Uh, I started at my level one in health and social care, where I did key skills level two also in maths, English and ICT. I did a level two diploma in applied science, which I also did my functioning skills with in maths, English and ICT at level two. I also did my GCSE, GCSE in English and maths, which I passed to. And then I progressed onto my level three applied science, which I did an extra unit in physics to help me to get to university. And I also did an extended project in these years. It rolled on from my first diploma in applied science, which I enjoyed thoroughly. I always wanted to pursue a science career, and uh, the level three seemed natural, as I already knew most of the academic staff at that time. I chose this course because when I started learning, I didn't. When I finished college at school, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so it helped me realise what I wanted to do with further education. Firstly, I started off doing A levels, and they didn't go too well. And um, this course kind of helped me start all over again. Um, and it kind of it's a good thing that I did it because it kind of changed my mind as to what I wanted to go into. Because um, I first wanted to do optometry, but then I decided I'm more of a chemistry person, so it seemed like a better choice now. Um, the tutors I enjoyed for really each one was very different but I got along with very well and the broad range of subjects that we covered in the applied science. Because I'm a slow learner myself sometimes it was hard for me to learn but when the PowerPoint used to be up I had my own time and pace to learn it. Um, the course because it's a really well balanced course there's um, a lot of practicals which is good because I'm more of a hands-on person and I learn better that way. Um, but there's also a well-balanced uh, theory side to it, so both of them work really well together. I'll be going to Aberystwyth University for four years to do my Masters in Physics. Hopefully I'd like to go to uni and start doing biomedical science there. And that's it. Um, hopefully when I'm finished I'll go on to university and study pharmaceutical chemistry. I would recommend this course for the teaching staff who have all been very brilliant throughout the years and the broad range of subjects that you cover in applied science. I definitely uh recommend the course to someone because I, th I personally believe you learn a lot more to it because it's not just applied science there's forensic aspect to it and personally I find that really interesting so it works well together. In five years I see myself studying for my PhD in an area of physics um, not sure of what part physics so far. Finished my uni 
and then working in a lab, hopefully. For five years time, I hopefully will have secured a job in the pharmaceutical industry and on my way to success. At first I was sceptical of uh, functioning skills, as many people are, but the more you do it you realise that it's one of the most helpful subjects that you can study. It is very important when you go to uni because you need English and maths for every as aspect of your life, like whatever, whatever you do you need English and maths so it's very important. I think they are really important but um, in aspect of the course I do think it helps you because it's a lot of assignment work and then that kind of helps your functional skills develop.